Hosomo's eighth anniversary is around the corner, which also marks the first anniversary of these evaluation videos. A month late, but it's all good. Before we even get to the annual event reprints and new anniversary banners, unique to this year, we'll be looking over rainbow ticket suggestions. Because on November 22nd, Life Wonders will be distributing a new rainbow ticket, while updating the pool of redeemable permanent 5 stars to include those released up to the end of 2023. Sorry, Qinglong fans! This will also mark the expiry of the first rainbow ticket, if you still haven't used it. Be sure to redeem some in the port of the state, don't waste your last chance. For this list, expect to see only the units that get my personal recommendation, so anyone listed will be worth your time. But before any of that, let's take a quick look back at some recent pickups and evolutions. I'm douches. Ladies, gentlemen, and well-distinguished others, are you ready? To be entertained! Everybody put your hands up! The Duke of Cacophony is back in the house. And there comes a giant fish! Amducia specializes in one task extremely well. Phenomenal boss killing damage locked behind his quick fill charge. While his buff dependent charge fill is uniquely guaranteeable, the amount filled per buff is an absolute pittance. He needs a huge amount of encouragement from the crowd to work himself up and reach his highest note of 1.7 million damage the most currently achievable natively in the game. Psyching himself up offstage, Amdusius follows up with a new, farther-reaching performance that makes it clear he's finally suited for larger stages. Enduring the harshest critics while constantly striving to improve, MP can now bask in the limelight. The Robin Hood of Ninja descends into the city, ready to enact his form of justice. Once his mark is decided, Jiraiya disarms and binds them with pure brawn before robbing their arousing mass of wealth and redistributing blessings back to the poor. The rich are typically the most well guarded though, but a ninja never comes unprepared. In case of retaliation, Jiraiya has prepared smoke bombs to make an escape, using ninjutsu to return any trickeries back. Bringing only enough to subdue the enemy, Jiraiya is less of a brute force option and more of a master key to many specific mechanics in both farming and challenges. So he's actually useful? Believe it! Kenta! Oh dear. The boy seems to be homeless and orphaned, not to mention forgotten by love funders. How on earth did he survive all this time? But Kenta's joy and precociousness has always been protected by Inugami, but it's kept him well nourished despite his position. With Inugami's diligence, Kenta has managed to chain down any chasing strangers, a perfect target for his dog. And he cut to Kenta enrages Inugami, with serious injuries branding all enemies with his curse. The cruelty of life have honed their skills to survive against danger and precariousness, but Kenta is poorly adjusted for life in a more stable, stronger community. Let's hope August can continue supporting him. Shiro! This demon controlling student of Shinjuku Academy had adapted his humble, tactical reasoning to the grand conflicts the summoners have surmounted. With no innate advantage in experience or starting resources, Shiro Motori relies on his instincts and wits to ensnare and defang his enemies. Strategically done with prepared follow-up attacks taking advantage of the trap. During his sting operation, his devils assist with purging impurities in his party while taking any killing blows for the ally he sports directly behind. Nothing but facilitative, Shiro makes a basic but respectable showing in challenges as the leader and advisor of your guild. What's next in our operations, Shiro? Manticore. This foreign royal attempts to pick up the bow with mixed success. Most of the shots don't go farther than an arm's length away, though shots that do land have a stunning grace that draws out his attendant's focus and fervor. Though he maintains his composure with some success, an animalistic bloodlust lurks within. And as Manticore receives more of both praise and insults alike, the shots become less regal and more evocative of an actual hunt until his anger reaches its limit and he lets loose his brilliant red zorns to all targets in sight. He regains his composure and momentarily learns how to better wield his bow. Somewhat usable for farming and challenges, Matikora is not a great debut for Agi Simba, but neither is he the worst from AGF. Zabakia. In the pits of hell, sinners who resist against this divinely tasked torture will be punished with a searing brand, completely depleting their vitality. Zabania takes no pleasure in this torture, though he may have a masochistic side to him in beckoning in the bitter climb of his subjects while bracing for impact with his fellow torturers. 
His noble duty of flagellation is unenviable, but nevertheless rewarded with Allah's energizing blessing. Formerly an excellent choice for delayed massive flat damage, Zabania is made partially obsolete with the increasing options for instant flat damage. He still exists as one of the best choices for punish, however, and is still well suited for some challenges. Take his right hand, and you'll find he has other ways to brand you with his intense heat. Lightning round! That's a lot of returning topics in these pickups. Among my rainbow ticket recommendations, a number have also been previously covered. And to be clear, Amducious is one of them. Nice going, Dussy. Now, let's get this show on the road. Three, two, one, start! You missed the spot. We just hit the big 2k in subs. The Tinder Bros keep growing. To celebrate, get ready for a whopping 10 more recommendations from the Rainbow Ticket Catalog. Something some of you have been clamoring about for a while now. You know who you are. I got the dirt on all of you. Thanks for having me, Arthur. I'll leave the rest to you. Tinderbros, out! To howl. To nurture. To hunt. To coexist. The proud Hokkaido wolf brings his values from his previous world and upholds them with laudable discipline. The howl announcing the arrival of Horukyu Kamui invigorates his observers, marking the complex relationship of his coexistence with people. His pelt protects his people from nature's crippling viciousness, his jerky nourishes and sustains the youth, and his hunting prowess inspires his older students to face the wilds with an undying energy and refined killer instincts. Horikyu Kamui himself, a master of survival in the bitter cold wastes, evades sudden deaths while taking advantage of the cold to secure his prey. An absolute monolith of general utility, he can face any unknown challenge ahead of him, and situationally face some farms too. To continue living with this wolf god is a dream come true. How far would he go for vengeance? Undeterred by his inglorious fall from Regency, this Buffalo King stays the ship's course steadily to pursue his arch nemesis. His maniacal obsession spread to his crewmates, and together, they tenaciously and enthusiastically enter the maw of the gods. That wretched beast may bite off a leg or two, but Ahav won't die so easily, and setbacks only fuel his burning anger and oppressiveness. The constant pull and push of his never-ending battle is a mesmerizing tale that revitalizes his sympathizers and chips away at his critics. With enough kindling, Ahav's rage fully manifests with a decisive strike from his harpoon, critically disabling his final opponent. With the burning flame in his eye, Ahav steers his ship directly into the heart of most challenges. Fall into his madness and lose yourself in the rough, intense moment with him. Die, Koku. Those who bide their time strike from the shadow, and time is no issue for this enigmatic syncretic deity, existing beyond space and time itself. Daikoku presents himself as a god of wealth and fortune, providing the boons of good health, protection from disaster, and a joyous energy to his unwitting worshippers. Hiding behind his kind veneer is a manipulator who seeks to topple the ones who usurped him, even if it means abusing the role he was forcefully given. From the shadows, he periodically reclaims the strength from and subjugates all passerby in sight, and can freely drop his act to channel the Great Black One to bring any obstacles in his plans into nihility, denying their skills and damage. Exclusively specializing in challenges, Daikoku can provide broad passive support to your main hard hitters. 
Will Unio improve your loyalty to him? Fire. The demon clad in white, wielding power over invisibility and popularity, whose hatred over Eden is contrasted with his pride as number one contingent on Eden. As an existence of contradictions, it is only fitting Bael takes his confused frustration out on the defendants of his court. In similar fashion, he counters each and every piece of evidence the defense may have ready, while preparing a strong, well-substantiated argument from which his own legal team can follow up. Though his penchant for perfectionism is known to be draining to keep up with, rebuttals will not be tolerated under his prosecution, with counter-arguments clipped from taking flight and weakened in impact. Though Bael offers broad strengths for all challenges, he'll only witnesses speak against the most well-prepared cases. An internship under his desk will no doubt open a new future for you. Shiva. Arguably the strongest unit in the game, for his time, the Destroyer certainly lived up to his epithet. Shiva brings the end of everything, the total removal of statuses on both sides, and a hard-hitting charge with flat damage to incinerate all life before him. However, he has fallen off due to logistic issues. For farming, his dependence on other units and equips sacrifices inclusion of boosters that have since released. For challenges, his difficult to amp damage failed to keep up with newer defensive mechanisms. While affiliations remedy some of this, the environment is already remade. Modern units can achieve devastation without such dependence. The kit outside of his charge is surprisingly sturdy though, and together with his charge, he can still crush many quests convincingly. Shiva is still a colossus to behold. If nothing else, he can destroy you completely and utterly. Do you or any of your loved ones still use this pyrogenic entity and swear he's the strongest unit in the game? If so, consult your doctor today, as you may be suffering from Delulu. Historically, the story of Kasuga has been told alongside Lianan Cheese. Feed Lianan's multiple damage amps into Kasuga to trigger his own amps and self-charge though for a devastating wipe. Even at its inception, and this strategy was flawed due to the timing of these buffs, making consecutive board wipes unlikely. Though newer setups can cover this difference, committing to them necessarily sacrifices arrangements that could go into more damage amp and mechanic counters. If you aren't aiming for efficiency, but instead brain that clears, Cthulhu's defense and healing ensures you won't have to think much about the risk of counterattacks. This must be his hero chi power at work. Gabriel. Ever had the foresight that you might not be able to instantly wipe a quest battle? The messenger of the word has come to interpret your vision. Indeed, the enemy is strong and unknown, but your faith in Adonai is enough to endure any lethal blow. Gabriel flies at reason-defying speeds to sing the word of the Lord, pacifying the masses while inspiring, energizing, and empowering her assigned prophets. The delivered word strikes a harsh chord with those she enchants, and among her presence her believers receive an enhancement in all divine blessings. Through her song of deliverance, her people will be well cared for in more relentless challenges that refuse to budge. She has some limited use in farming too. Raise your hands everyone! Gabriel is in the house, ready to bring you into Cloud Nine. The Unlaws! Ho ho ho! I know if you've been naughty or nice, and I'm coming down your chimney tonight! Dashing through the snow for three turns once per phase, the Edmoroz takes on the role of both Light and Dark Santa, punishing the naughty while blessing the nice. He's rather underpowered, but his strength is seen in the logistics of the metagame. He's the strongest and most versatile experience booster mentor to bring in dungeons. Other mentors can replace him, but if your leveling target isn't fit for the mechanics within dungeons, you'll have great difficulty winning with just the three star mentors. You can get away with bringing a Jihad in support, just make sure he's equipped an experience booster, but owning him lets you exploit affiliation perks to boost his damage further. No! Who deserves a taste of my milk and cookies? The god of lightning and war beckons all opposition in, if only for the express goal of completely subsuming them. With his millstone, Peron instantly grinds everyone, enemies, allies, and self alike and remolds them together in his well-nourished image, while also imposing his own will over enemy soldiers. The numbers he repossesses are then dispatched with the highest board wipe damage in the game, at 68,000 damage per square, all by his own hand. With every fourth season of battle progressing, Perun grinds the field again, which inevitably grinds down his own strength. 
Until then, he bides his time. Striking Thunder down on the front line, making him situationally useful for farming in large maps and generally useful for quick clearing easier challenges. Taking each other in and becoming his in both mind and body, huh? I envy the enemy. Asuka! Curtains! Light! Action! The Guildmaster of the Entertainers presents his latest production to roaring acclaim. The strongest, most uninterruptible board wiper in the game, lacking any need to move an inch from his director's chair, Asuka debuts a story featuring a cast of Romeos and Juliets, all destined to wither away through his direction. Scene 1 rolls out a powerful tragedy involving systematic destruction of an unsuspecting community. And as more misfortune unfolds, Asuka's play builds up to the climactic scene of complete, unforgiving carnage of a nation. In the rare case his backstage crew is out of place early on, he can pause the scene to reposition everyone swiftly while remaining impervious to losing his own role or to losing any health. With his reputation preceding him, no one can resist the call to willingly play any role under his direction. Let's take a close look at this date here again. November 22nd. See that? Definitely use your current rainbow ticket before this date, because after it, you will lose your chance. This first ticket will only let you redeem permanent 5 stars released up to the end of 2021. So my main recommendation for this one will be Diod. If you think you're doing your dungeon runs fine without him however, Anyone else among my recommendations is fine too. For the second ticket, coming at this date here, November 22nd, don't forget! It should go without saying that I strongly recommend Oscar. If you already have him, one more Oscar dupes is unironically quite a good idea. I'd say just pick up who you like at that point, even if I didn't mention them today. Sometimes going for hotness is all someone needs to enjoy this game the most. That's all for now, cuties! Catch you next time!